eat that chicken. <laughs> Welcome back, friends. Today we are in Waynesville, North Carolina. Much different territory than the beach town of Hilton Head Island, South Carolina. I don't know much about this dash map, this dash zone. I don't know what the deliveries are going to be like. There's a lot of mountainous roads back here. There's a lot of houses tucked away up in the hills, so it should definitely be interesting. All right, guys, keep watching. Let's see what we can dash. I'm noticing that the internet connection is really poor in this area, especially in the mountains. So I want to get to a more populated area where there might be a cell tower close by. Hopefully pick up some orders around downtown. All right, we just got our first order and it was not Chick-fil-A. It was actually McDonald's, which is right across the street, so no big deal. This is a small order, but it's only 1.5 miles away. I know that with the short distance, there's no chance I'm going up a mountain, so I'm gonna take it. All right, that was a little frustrating. That order was 10 minutes late on the pickup. Also, I'm having trouble confirming the pickup because of the internet connection. But you guys know when your order's 10 minutes late like that, it's no bueno, because then it comes on you to make up for that time and get it to the customer. Thanks, have a great day. You are welcome. Order number one complete. Not a big tip or anything like that. Always a little frustrating when you get a three or four dollar order. Absolutely gorgeous area. Driving through the mountains in the hilly area like this, so beautiful. All right, order number two, back to McDonald's. This one's a little bit better. It's $7 for 3.3 miles. Still having trouble with the connectivity. It makes the process a little bit slower. And this McDonald's is fancy and really nice and they're well staffed, but these orders uh, seem like they're coming up a little bit late. Oh, there's no, all right, you ready? I'm ready. So this is a big duck egg compared to, well, these are all big. Oh yeah, big. much bigger. Look at that yolk. Wow. That's why you fry them. What do you think, Obs? Wow. And then we're saving the eggs for the guard. Right. Duck, duck egg. Those duck eggs were amazing. Ducks, who'd have thought? I know they laid eggs. Didn't know we could eat them. Okay, order up, Arby's. Not the best order. How many times have I said that? But we're gonna take it, we're gonna explore. 4.4 miles away kinda scares me. Makes me think we're going up a mountain. But we might as well get that over with and show you guys just how sketchy these mountain roads are. Welcome to Arby's. Please order whenever you're ready. I am picking up a DoorDash under the name Firewater G. Please still on through. All right, thank you. Back to the baka baka chicken filet. Hey! All right, guys, back to the chicken, and I mean Chick Fil A, one of the nicest places you'll ever DoorDash. They always tell you that it's their pleasure. Because it is their pleasure. They're so nice and they love to give you chicken. Let's go get their chicken. Hello, this is Austin. Um, you want the door dasher for the Chick-fil-A order? Yes, I am. Um, it, on, the, on the order it says just waffle fries. Can you check and see if they have chicken strips and waffle fries? Looks like it is just the Chick-fil-A waffle potato fries. Yep, it's just the fries on the order. Okay, I don't want it. I, hold on, I'm gonna see if I can cancel. If I can't cancel, just bring it. Okay, so we unassigned from that Chick-fil-A order. Dang, I really wanted to go into Chick-fil-A. I love that place. But uh, I don't know if you guys ever have this issue or not. Sometimes when I accept a DoorDash order, it won't stop vibrating my phone. And it's actually doing that right now. So I've already accepted my next order. It's a good one. It's our first $7 order. That blows my mind away. Back in Hilton Head, these seven, eight, nine dollar $9 orders are a lot more prevalent. But what I'm gonna have to do is shut my phone completely down and this won't affect my dash. It won't kick me off. When I start up my phone, it'll punch me right back into where I was. So we're gonna power off and reset because I don't want my phone to vibrate all freaking day long. Seriously, bzzz, 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 just like I'm getting orders, but I've already accepted the order, so super frustrating. With 
sheer luck we were able to park right outside of this place so that was awesome this is just baked ZD mushroom that right there yeah just baked ZD okay this is the mushroom all right so you're not taking not an extra they right. just had us name it for them because they're I got you genius. that makes sense right. thank you this goes with it too I got you. Thank you, guys. No problem. All right. Oops. You don't have a bag by any chance, do you? No. You want me to put it in a bag for you? Yeah, if you got one. Yeah. That'd be great. I see you guys are here. <laughs> No one's taking. I didn't know. Sorry. Feels like I have trouble carrying it. All right, you are the best. Yep. Thank you. No problem. Have a good day. Thanks, man. Too. I asked him for a bag, and he said no. And then the chick walks up, and she goes, "You want a bag, honey?" I'm like, yeah. I got like seven items that you have all labeled crazy. I didn't want to take all those different names. I thought he was trying to give me other orders. Dude was kind of a jerk when he went to explain it, but whatever, I got the order, I'm on the way. This is why I wear the camera. I can show you guys just how rude some of these restaurants are. DoorDash, if you're watching, I hope you're taking notes. Let's go get this order delivered. All right, Huddle House. This is a high mileage because I'm not anywhere near the dash area i pulled over tried to catch a fish didn't catch anything probably not even worth showing the footage but might show you a little snippet right here all right you guys know i can't go anywhere without my fishing pole had to pull over and check out this trout stream this area is really famous for trout fishing they do stock it but there's also native trout here that i'm really interested in catching i don't have any live bait no crickets nothing like that just some really small lures. Hopefully we can get a fish and get back in the dash, baby. But anyways, yeah, um, this is the biggest order so far that I've come across. Let's take it, see what happens. It's an order for Gail? Yeah. There Thank you, you go. Have a good day. You too. Thank you. guys I cannot make it up this driveway so uh, 32 is it this one two forty six this is insane all right guys this is an absolutely terrible order because of the terrain my little ford focus is not built for these rocky dirt mountain roads it is seriously sketchy and not only is it sketchy but it's super hard on my vehicle so luckily gail came out to the end of her driveway there she was apologetic about the roads i mean it's not her fault but now I know what areas to avoid. All right, order up. Chick-fil-A. What got, what got? You know I love that chicken. We tried to take one earlier, but didn't go so well. Let's see if this uh, experience is better. Hello. Hello. Have a DoorDash delivery for Darren. Okay. And the notes were to leave it with uh, the front desk. All right. That's it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Thanks, you too. We delivered that chicken. Order up Sagebrush Steakhouse. Whatever that is, we're going to go check it out. $10 order, not too bad. Oh, Waynesville. 
You're difficult to dash. Let's go scoop up this order. Well, friends, we gave it our best effort. Waynesville, a little bit difficult to dash, not gonna lie. Limited internet access, far distances between deliveries, treacherous hillsides and mountainous roads. Maybe not for the Ford Focus. A little bit different than Hilton Head Island. Still had a great time though, visiting family, exploring the outdoors, checking out the beautiful scenery. It's absolutely gorgeous here. I hope this video helped you guys out. If you're thinking about dashing in the area, take a couple precautions, maybe get a four wheel drive vehicle and just know that you're gonna have trouble with that internet connection. Elon Musk, we need your help. Where are those satellites at? All right guys, thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time.